Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few leaks to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We have scrapped gameplay features that will not be in the Generation 9 games. We have new changes to already present gameplay features for Scarlet and Violet. Loads of stuff to go over today. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the latest leaks for the Generation 9 games. Subscribe if you're brand new. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, the first things that we're going to be taking a look at are these two tweets from Riddler Koo, one of the leakers in the community, and the first thing that he posted was want to climb the tower, and then I'm not sure what this word means, I've never seen it before, I'm not sure if it was translated badly or something, but either way, that's how we finish the sentence. And then he also tweeted this out, saying the crown made nine changes, and then that was it, nothing really to build up there, people have since translated it properly and stuff um and we actually have answers and 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 kind of what he was really talking about um actually people that you know speak chinese and stuff like that so this is all translated properly now it's not just using google translate because usually when we use google translate things kind of get lost in translation and stuff like that because obviously google translate is really really bad um but when you actually have people that speak the language it makes life a lot easier so this is a thread from Centro leaks with all of that latest information and then we also have Pearl Enthusiast, uh, Pearl Enthusiast, should I say, making a, a thread as well, uh, going over everything with more translations and stuff like that. And then a few other leaks to go over. And there's also a fake leak going around as well that I want to just kind of go over at the end of today's video because it is definitely fake and people are kind of thinking it's real. Anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. The first thing is that bottle caps have a change in Gen 9 that makes them better. So bottle caps, obviously very, very useful uh, for competitive Pokemon. Um, and Sword and Shield did a really good job for competitive as well. It, it just kind of made competitive a lot better. It was a lot easier to breed um, Pokemon and, and IV train them and EV train them and everything like that and just get them competitive ready in a lot less time. And so people are kind of coming up with ideas on what they could have changed um, with the bottle caps. Um, so Sanjeev says uh, they probably work at level 50 now, I guess, since I can't think of any other changes. They were already good. Um, I'm assuming maybe a cap to get an IV to zero would be really good addition for competitive, for like trick room teams and stuff like that would be really, really useful. Um, I hope that the hidden abilities item also have a better mode to get it, uh, which is obviously the ability patch. Please be hyper training level set to 50 instead of 100 and have a bottle cap for zero IVs for trick room. I feel like zero IVs is probably the one that they're going to be doing because obviously bottle caps, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm not playing competitive in a long time, but I think it, it improves an IV to 31 and then you've got like your gold bottle cap which does like all of them um so yeah if there, there kind of needs to be a bottle cap that makes it zero because again trick room is a very viable competitive strategy so there needs to be a way in order to get speed IVs all the way down to zero so hopefully it is that it will make competitive a lot better um and like I say it's the new competitive hub Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is so uh, it's most likely going to have a lot of additions that kind of help out with the uh, competitive battling and stuff like that. Um, and then the next thing is quite a big one and not too happy about it. I don't know why they scrapped it, but either way, the following is unconfirmed because it's based on a hint by the leaker, but still not explicitly said. There's no battle tower or similar in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Um, so this has since been confirmed that it actually is true. Like it's it's been completely um, translated properly now and there is going to be no battle tower or anything like the battle tower in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet you know that would literally be the final nail in the we don't want to challenge the player coffin <laughs> so uh, the game loses so much replay value if the battle tower is not a feature the online better be the best it's ever been um, in this case because X and Y had phenomenal online and a battle tower clone and its after game was still bad so yeah a lot of people not happy that the uh, the battle tower is not going to be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet we have reconfirmed it's uh, the above interpretation translation with a native Chinese speaker and it seems to be accurate so yeah no battle tower in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet or anything similar either which again I think is a massive L so again as people have said there needs to be a lot of kind of uh, gameplay features uh, in other parts of the game to enable it to you know actually have a replay value I mean the thing about the replay value for Scarlet and Violet is it's going to be quite good regardless because you can literally start the game and have a different experience every single time it's not like Pokemon you know that we're used to where the only different experience you can really have is the team that you have 
um, and obviously you just go through the game with a different team. Whereas in this game, you can literally do a different story first. You can do different parts of different stories. You know, it, it's like there's so much stuff to do. And of course, because there's going to be Pokemon all over the shop in the over in the open wilderness, uh, you can literally just have a completely different team every single time. Like you won't be having the same Pokemon. But yeah, that that kind of helps the replay value um, because you can literally do a different thing every single time you start the game. But at the same time, a battle tower. I, I don't know why they would have scrapped that. Like that's something huge for Pokemon, and a lot of people really enjoyed it and stuff. Uh, and then as well as that, a reminder that there won't be any special terrestrial forms um, a like Gigantamax slash unique Z-moves for the base game. We got one for each type and that's it. So yeah, there's not going to be any special um, terrestrial forms really. Like every Pokemon is going to be able to have every single type as a Terra type and then, at, and then that's it. Um, again, there might be one or two special hats in like the DLC or something for like legendaries or potentially dual types as well. There's been a lot of talk about dual type Terra hats which again would be really, really cool. I would love to see that. But as of right now, in the base game of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, there is just a Terra hat for every single type, and that's it. There's no special ones. No Pokemon are getting special treatment. No specific Charizard terrestrial hat. We don't even know Charizard's in the game. Um, but yeah, there's nothing like that. It is literally just a base Terra hat for every single Pokemon, for every single type. Um, but yeah, either way, the big news there is that there's no Battle Tower um, or anything like the Battle Tower in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. And again, this was a translation, uh, kind of the, the actual proper translation um for um those latest uh coup recaps and stuff like that so again pearl enthusiast tweeting out saying with actual translations thanks to uh h sin h sung and not google translate um so this one here was where he was talking about i do believe this is the tower uh no this is the crown with the nine changes so it says crown uh should mean gen 9 became and then good to use slash easier to use so it's likely the crown that means bottle caps so it's not 100 confirmed to be bottle caps but the crown and there's not really anything else that it could potentially be so yeah basically bottle caps are good to use slash easier to use so again having an improvement in some way shape or form um and then this one here is another tweet that says uh, cherish your alliance experience so we actually didn't go over this tweet um but either way because uh looks like central elites missed that but either way this was another tweet from riddler Koo saying cherish your alliance experience and this is cherish your league experience this is about the pokemon league i presume so cherish your league experience not sure what kind of thing that would mean i don't know why you'd have to cherish it but either way something about the pokemon league there and then as well as that we have this last one here that we've obviously already been over want to climb the tower and so this is uh climb the battle tower no way this can be interpreted in many ways the most popular one is no battle tower so yeah no battle tower something about the pokemon league and then bottle caps being easier to use they are all of the latest kind of um leaks from riddler Koo. again kakar hasn't really posted anything recently it's kind of just it's kind of like a table tennis match it like goes to riddler Koo, he posts a couple of things and then it goes to kakar he posts a few things back to riddler Koo. of course the difference being that riddler Koo just posts like cryptic tweets and stuff and we need actual translators and stuff to kind of see what he's saying whereas kakar's just like here's an image here's some stuff about the game yada 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 and i know that kakar obviously um doesn't tweet out in english either but at the same time his tweets are a lot more like this is in the game this isn't in the game where riddler Koo is like you know maybe this is in the game so yeah anyway that's that the next thing we're going to go over is this as well so this was tweeted out a while ago but again some of you guys might not have been following the videos then but it's just kind of resurfaced and i did want to talk about it um that including the ocean and islands paldea is bigger than all hisuian areas combined so a lot of people were wondering how big this game is obviously we've seen the map um, and so basically there's going to be like a lot of oceanic locations as well because Kaka kind of um, made us, he kind of wanted to make the statement that the ocean was quite a big part of this game. So the ocean and the islands, Paldea is bigger than all Hisui areas combined. So all the different locations you can go in Hisui, which is quite a big game, out of all of those areas combined, Paldea is bigger um, and again, I think there's going to be a lot of secrets and stuff in the oceans and everything because all around Paldea is literally ocean. So I think there's going to be a few secret islands, maybe a few secret Pokemon, maybe something to do with one of the four legendaries, something like that. And then he goes to, on to say, if you don't go to the sea, maybe it's a bit small, but if you get into the sea or the island, it's big. So again, the island, like the sea is clearly quite a big part of this game. And I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of getting like Wind Waker vibes, but the best thing about Wind Waker was you could literally explore and then... You know, you could find like a secret little island or something. Uh, and yeah, hopefully there's like a few quests or something. Um, maybe one of them is tied to the legendaries. So I'm pretty sure, I'm not actually sure. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's a water legendary in this game. But either way, I'm sure there's some secret water Pokemon or something like that. Anyway, that's that leak. They are all of the latest leaks. So that's all legit. 
Now we're going to move on to the fake leak that's just kind of been popping up around all over the shop. And it's this new title screen for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Uh, it was pe it posted by uh, Mary Dark saying this appeared on 4chan. Maybe it's real. Sorry, my bad English. So a lot of people are saying, you know, instantly because it's on 4chan, it's fake. But, you know, that's not the case. You know, we have had quite a few big leaks from 4chan before Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were revealed. You know, that was all leaked on 4chan. Uh, I think we got leaks for all of, like, the Sword and Shield stuff. Um, that was all leaked on 4chan. We've had a few other bits and bobs pop up on, pop up on 4chan, uh, 4chan. So just because it pops up on 4chan doesn't mean it's instantly fake. But this is instantly fake. So um, this is like the, the title screen. As you can see, we've got like Coriden there in the background. Uh, and then we have a continue new game and options. And it's clearly Pokemon Scarlet. So straight off the bat, um, it'd be interesting if Pokemon went back to like the new game function. Obviously, we had that a while ago. I can't remember the last time we had new game. It might have been Gen 5. But then obviously in Gen 6 and Gen 7 and Gen 8, I'm pretty sure you had to like, uh, you had to press like a series of buttons to be able to like delete your save data. I think they should go back to like new game because it just makes life a lot easier than having to find like all the buttons you have to press. Um, but either way, it's unlikely they're going to do that. But the main giveaway from this is the fact that this is taken from the trailer when Coriden and Miranda were first introduced to us. And as well as that, it said in that trailer um, that this is not final game footage. So they wouldn't use that in the startup screen here it looks like i quite like this startup screen like this this kind of menu thing it looks pretty cool looks pretty clean i do like it but yeah this is definitely fake so if you see this popping up around or whatever it's, it's fake there's no way it's true um so yeah that's fake but all of this stuff about like the bottle caps the battle tower everything like that is all completely true so anyway that's gonna be the latest leaks for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it please do consider hitting the like button down below let's try and hit 500 likes it really does help out thank you again for all the support on the latest videos i really really appreciate it uh subscribe if you're brand new for daily pokemon content keep you up to date with everything you need to know for the generation 9 games ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything that's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace